Hello everybody and welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Gaviani and I am here with some Age of Calamity videos. There's a live stream this morning. Um, a couple hours ago I was not about to get up early for it, especially since they were uh, giving the lion's share of it to Pikmin 3, which is great for Pikmin 3 fans, but just I personally uh, didn't really care for what I played of it and yeah. You, you know you know how it goes. It, no game is going to be for everyone. Okay? My favorite game is Final Fantasy VI. And I acknowledge, it is kind of jank. So, it is nothing against Pikmin 3. I just didn't want to sit through 40 minutes of Pikmin 3. You know what I mean? <laughs> just personal preference. You know what I mean? Uh, there was this preview that went up yesterday I have not watched yet. I understand it has uh, young Pura and young Ravi in it, so that's going to be interesting. I will remind you once again. Yes. Above all else, I'm your a duty massive is of the utmost importance. <laughs> <laughs> Rule one of the researcher's code is to never give up. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Check it. <laughs> it won't be easy, but we're not gonna let that stop us, eh? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was it. <laughs> I I would not have dreamed that they would try to make Robbie kinda sexy. <laughs> Not my taste, but that's got to be a lot of people's tastes. Okay, so I brought up the other one. What what the hell was with that voice, though? He sounded really familiar. Wait, was that actor in Persona 5? I haven't played Persona 5, but just the voice kind of reminded me of... Um, Joker's smash reveal trailer. Uh, he's there to steal a treasure. That voice? Okay. Oh, no, not media file. I want to open web page. Web page. Thanks, JC. Thanks, Corey. Wow, Pikmin looks like a lot of fun. Hi, everyone. I'm Hello. Kate from Nintendo Treehouse, and I've got my colleagues Chico and Kendra here with me. Well, Before obviously, we started, it's I'd like to acknowledge that we are doing this remotely. Uh, so there might be some technical limitations, but we're asking for your patience and your understanding. Well, if they pre recorded it, why would she need to do that? They could do as many takes as they needed. As we work as hard as we can to bring you. An amazing stream. Uh, so today we're going to I'm take a look that at pin, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which takes place a hundred years before Breath of the Wild and tells the story of the Great Calamity and the events leading up to it, uh, which really can only be told through the one versus 1000 action of a Warriors game. Yeah. Uh, we'll start off with a first look at Urbosa. Yay! So oh, Chico, are you ready? Yes, I am. So <laughs> let's get uh, started. I'm, I'm fine. I know. Uh, I'm uh, playing as Urbosa right now, as you can see. And I'm actually inside the uh, Derrida town right now. And then it is a uh, high warriors game, so you will be using X and Y button to do a uh, weak and strong attack. And then also uh, A. Oh, wait. Uh, must, but wait, is coming. Uh, right now, uh, <laughs> the beautiful chapter is under attack by Iga Trunk. But I don't want to talk about why they're here. One of them got, um, uh, But the objective is I have to actually defeat on the three Iga Blade Masters. Geometry of the so to there. do that, in addition to the usual Hyrule Warriors Link's allowed to be in there, just action, I have to uh, as move. Link. That's interesting. And I can use, he didn't have to get all dressed uh, I just up for it. the stasis it. now. Just because he was with an emissary, but, uh, you know. His character can use all four uh, different oh, moves in different she is pages. super loud on so, this. So I need to press so, all the platforms. I had to turn it down. Now, so I'm going to let Kay and Kendra talk about what's unique about Urboza. 
Great, thank you so much, Chico. <laughs> yeah, Urbosa wall jump is nice. Really you can fun, wall jump exciting. off the trees. And, uh, as you can see, it's focused on her ability to use an attack with lightning. Um, she has a unique ability to charge up lightning, uh, which is represented by the gauge at the top of the screen. Um, and um, yep, she's charging it right there. And once it's charged up, on, she can let me, actually let me uh, use myself the here. lightning oh, in addition okay, to there it is. her strong attacks to kind of strengthen those attacks and do some really character-specific stuff with it. Um, she also How her dodge uses doesn't lightning look as awkward in, her, in the finished product uh, as it did in the trailer. Point counters and in her special attacks. Um, and if if Chico can get the timing right after some of these big attacks where there's still some electricity lingering in the air, nice. she can um, charge up her electricity super quick, um, which takes uh, I a lot thought of we were just going to ignore those. Timing, but <laughs> it's uh, very satisfying when you can pull it off. <laughs> oh my god, it's just all of okay, Gerudo so Town. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So and I just wanted to add, store, too, um, aside from is, the gameplay that you're seeing, you know, well, first obvious. of all... Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, oh my I'm gosh. interrupting myself, because there's a Korok. <laughs> there it is. It's <laughs> so cute. So clearly, Koroks <laughs> no! are in the stages that you can find. <laughs> um, but this is the first time that people get to play as Urboso, which is already super awesome. We're going to go into the and bar? this area probably looks pretty oh my goodness. familiar to some Breath of the Wild fans. Oh, that's so fun. And it's the cool to see these places so great. Mm -hmm. pre calamity. Um, but what I did want to say is pre calamity, it was identical. To, um, getting more backstory on these characters as well. Um, you really get a good look at Urbosa's relationship to Zelda and also more information about Urbosa's relationship to Zelda's late mother. So, nice. Um, if you're like, we're actually going to get the get name the of the mother. And, Get to know them in ways that you didn't get to in Breath of the Wild. This game is your opportunity to do that. Oh, that's so cool. That's right. It's it's really there's a lot to unpack in here and a lot to see, and it's very thrilling for fans of Breath of the Wild to to oh. be able to take a look, a more in depth look at this time in the uh, in the story. All right, and now a we're beast in the north that will keep them busy uh, if we can lure them out of hiding. Which is also is a there a, a uh, um, as you can see, she uses the runes as her main attacks. Oh my uh, gosh! In addition to being able to use them, uh, anyway, just are like we gonna see a Molduga? She can. Uh, Does this hurt? Tell us to the north. Of kind of. It's more near the entrance. Huge swarms of enemies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In a very unique way. It's <laughs> But neither of them are directly more. Zelda being able to take out these guys. Interesting. Yeah, and for me, anytime Zelda gets to you get to play as Zelda and annihilate get to throw enemies down. Zelda, it's pretty much a win for me. Because Zelda and a Zelda game. <laughs> yeah. Well, and she's really she's fun. To the play photography as well. rune does damage. That's <laughs> awesome. Nice work. Nice work. No, no, pick up the treasure chest. She's great. I know Zelda's big, but yeah. Okay, so I have to chase but after. Her. <laughs> yes. <definitely. laughs> oh my god. Her. Down no, so I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to fight electric lasolfos by the dozens. Oh my gosh, it is going to be a Moldinga. As people who are new to the Warrior series, um, as you can see, there are prompts on the screen that help guide you through the process of the gameplay um, and the action. Um, but you also attacks that make a loud noise. Too. So no stealth kills. So, Wait, uh, but she I just did. And it looks like my, with a loud um, attack, zero is of fifty. To defeat the enemies with a loud attack. So I think I need to do. Oh, I can't use it right now, but I will wait till my my room fills up first. But yeah, how are these Make not making a loud attack? 
do oh, it. Oh, you gotta use bombs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> lightning... This guy's really getting in your yeah. way. ...doesn't do it. <laughs> so, as you can see, uh... Which is really we weird. the Sheikah runes, there is a little bit of a wait time for it to charge back up before you can use it again. Um, Makes sense. Which is very similar to how it worked in Breath of the Wild. Oh, man. That was... That was a gorgeous takeout right there. I'll dig out. And the, the oh, reason for yeah. using these loud attacks was to call forth a certain familiar uh, monster. Oh. And there he is. Oh, man. Oh. Sure it's not lady, I he's think he's scary. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he's too scary. And he's coming after me, so I don't think I want to do this. Bye-bye. Now, let's go ahead and, like, that's it. Let's go to the main menu while we can. Is that what I saw? So we're going to go back to the world map and show some of the gameplay between battles. Leveling up characters, strengthening weapons, and unlocking things. There it is. Very familiar map of Hyrule. Chico, do you want to tell us a little bit about... Well, they're telling this? us where to go next, aren't they? Yeah, point, so, point, uh, point, do you point, ever point, play point, you know, point, like point. a recent Hyrule Warriors game or maybe different uh, Warriors game, you might be familiar with how the menu looked like. You will go from chapter 1 to 3 type thing, but this one, you actually uh, go through different chapters and uh, locations using the uh, map of Hyrule from the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I just hope and they learned my lesson from this, I was uh, literally the Warriors screaming 9, because it was so gorgeous. Where it was an open world that they forgot it. to put anything in. And uh, <laughs> because it's a higher Warriors game... Hang on a second. I want to see what that said. Map of Hyrule from the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yes. And uh, when I first saw this, I was literally screaming because it was so gorgeous and I just loved it. Okay. And, uh... No! Why did you make that smaller? Literally screaming because it was so gorgeous, gorgeous and yes. I just loved it. With your herbs in hand, the parent was able to make the birthday souffle. What a lovely Mabe tradition. <clears throat> the child loved it. Oops. <laughs> and thanks you were taught the life-giving recipe. <clears throat> And uh, because it's a higher warrior game, uh, when you're playing the stages, you collect a lot of different type of materials. So do, using those materials, you can uh, unlock different locations. Cool, cool. But you can buy some di things from different locations merchants. On the map, like the stables, uh, at the training ground, and, uh, and even like you know different dishes uh, you can cook type thing. So one of the things I wanted to show is actually here, uh, blacksmith. Oh, interesting. So Cedro the so you blacksmith. You will be collecting a lot of different weapons while you are in the stage. Uh, <laughs> not like the rest of the wild, you don't. Uh, the weapons do not break uh, during the stage. Oh, you thank can goodness. Use these, uh, She's you can solo level on a freaking ladle. Your uh, primary use weapon. So. You know, right now I'm using uh, this uh, sword, but there's other different type of weapons I can get and different, you know, way to use it. So I want to use makes sense. Uh, my sledgehammer, iron sledgehammer, and, and uh, fuse them with all the materials I got so far. Yeah. With the level and one I think soup I'm... ladle that you will not neglect. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't oh, you dare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do the pre-order though because it's only the <laughs> no, you said, you download so, pre-order and I just don't have space. You can use up to five different weapons and you can ask uh, Maybe them. if they had like a freaking terabyte rupees, of, so sure you collect rupees when you are of, of space uh, storage space. And now I have my uh, sledgehammer up to five so I can use that. Do they just keep getting know. louder? Um, another thing is the materials you collected, you can make the dish. So let's see, this one is ready. So the ultimate fish, fish dish. And you need the materials five fish. So I have that trapped. All right. So now ah, you I can just ship dish, them. <laughs> so I can earn the recipe for chili fish skewer. <sighs> 
Oh, no. Damage from fire, right, minus 50%, nice. To uh, give your characters a little bit of a buff before you go into battle. Um, and there are a bunch of different types that have different effects, so it's pretty fun to collect oh, them and cool. see what they do. Yep. Hey, yeah, it looks uh, like you can make that. <laughs> Making a monster. Making a brass <laughs> Yeah, me. so by defeating monsters and getting those materials, uh, you can also turn them into these. Just a moment. Move that back up. Other uh, oh, quests weapon which bonus you can combo. use nice. to unlock uh, bonus combos or extra health or uh, other such things. Um, but the thing I really like about these is that they have little stories um, that go along with them. Um, little glimpses into the characters' lives between battles during this war. Um, the one that we just did, for example, is about a uh, young child a multitude in of spear wielding monsters. What is that about info promising to so play with some children? Practice, uh, <laughs> using a two handed sword. And so Link actually brings the materials to make the dummy, creates this dummy, helps them build it, and then they train together. And that's how Link is able to come up with an extra uh, move for his two handed sword. That's um, cool. And I love it because Link's from Hantano Village. Uh, so it's very cute. Glimpse Link into his is ridiculous, life. though. Yeah, the world building so, is really excellent. So, positively swimming in that armor. Yeah. We just uh, strengthened this two-handed, I mean, Sledgehammer is basically a two-handed sword type. Right, so, uh, I'm going into the training mission where I can actually use this Sledgehammer to showcase how the two-handed sword or two-handed weapon will work in this game. Okay, that So, I changed fun. my weapon, and I guess I can change my player. Yeah. yeah, you can uh, unlock different pieces of armor as you progress through the game, and you can uh, equip or, I guess, unequip them uh, as and dress them up however you want. Oh, um, golly. Nice. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is, uh, I, I guess, however you want. Design. What are you talking about? <laughs> And we also, this is the chili fish skewer we just got from the recipe. You know, so I can use that. Right, and every character will react differently to the main uh, enemies Daru, dishes that you huh? cook for them. And, um, other and some Iron characters soldiers. even have favorite dishes, um, and they'll say something different when you give them their favorite dish. So it's cool. a lot of fun to try the out Link a bunch just of different like... recipes and see uh, which <laughs> your characters prefer. Yeah, and if you watch the TGS uh, live stream, you might have seen the uh, cutscene where it's showing the tower actually raising from the ground. Cool, and cool. that tower is actually going to be a base for Link uh, whenever he goes to the next mission. I so see. I think you just saw him kind of like warping from the tower to that new location uh, <laughs> where I'm going to be showcasing the 200 sword training mission. Zelda's got some big right. hair in that. Um, so yeah, it's, it is a training <laughs> mission. <laughs> hey! Don't jump me. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's no the two-handed sword is a lot of If work. anything, I just feel bad for Link. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you know, he, he works up quite a sweat to get in the way while fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, this is a training level, so you're fighting against a lot of Hyrulean soldiers. Um, and... Hey, using it's the, the horse track. Sword, uh, which, uh, you know, aesthetically does look a lot like uh, how it was used in Breath of the Wild. Not oh, going down um, that easy. Oh, in this game, it's, it's slower but more powerful than the one-handed sword. Um, but the uh, fun, fun thing about it is that he can <laughs> he can uh, use the slam, unique slam. action to strengthen his strong attacks. Um, in exchange, he takes a little bit of temporary damage. I did. Um, I see. Like that. And uh, in order to heal <laughs> that temporary damage, you can press X to uh, consume a meal in the middle of battle. <laughs> okay, it looks like I'm just gonna have to move this down here. <laughs> and, I uh, I love the animation yeah, for him eating. Yeah, let's yeah, I love the animation go. for him eating. Let's let's yeah, get near some enemies. Yeah, it's still doing it for us. I'm gonna get near some enemies. Oh, no. Imagine looking okay, outside so, at your one of those horse track 
is highly aggressive. And then like and if Chico does it, a whole bunch enemies, of soldiers are having a we'll see what training montage out there. And hopefully <laughs> we'll get an opportunity to show you that because I love it. Um, nom nom nom. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Okay. Aggressive food eating I love with shockwave it. blast. I this oh whole charge. I love that they included that. Link, in you signed up for the difficult course. RC you knew what it was. Uh, fighting style you signed with a sword. A I think release. it's a great homage <laughs> to Breath of the Wild and people who played it like I did, um, which is to say having a uh, stockpile of apples or something in <laughs> my inventory so I could chow down when I'm Looks like you don't take by a strong damage from being too close damage. to bombs, though. So that's good. You can aggressively eat your apples. Suck. Suck. Aggressively Why? eat your apples. It's the only way to eat apples in this game. <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh, burn All right, how many uh, apples, chaos do we have? Get, uh, oh, yeah. So I have to keep right. on this seven or more. Yeah, we're getting there. We're more than halfway. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that this location is very familiar. Um, yeah. It appeared as ruins in Breath of the Wild, but now, before the calamity, it's in its heyday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, uh, it's very cool to see what it looked like when it before it got destroyed. Yeah, and nice Chico, one, maybe you Chico. can show us um, some light lightning rod action. Cool. What? Hold the hold oh, yeah, we did get to see the ice rod before. Oh, yeah. yeah! Lightning rod! <laughs> <laughs> Not doing much to the gauge, though. You can do it. So, as you can see, with it, it really that she's slow? timing her attacks for when that weak point gauge comes out. Um, the big strategy against that's these Link for you is talent knows no to, bounds. Uh, cut down that weak point gauge. We don't know where and he's creating an those meals. So you can do a uh, counter attack, which can be very powerful. Nice one. A little bit more. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. You know, I notice there's like. There's some slowdown, but very little. I love the two-handed sword so much. I think it's my favorite. And I it's figure, so like, if they were going you know, to just, like, fix... Slam through all of these like, enemies, you know, these thousands for the presentation, and thousands of enemies. There wouldn't be any And slowdown. also to, like, take a little break so, to have a snack here and then. I'm assuming this is really indicative of the finished product. This is my favorite one. I'm hoping we can uh, I know your favorite show some, is the... Show some flurry <laughs> rush, too. <laughs> Oh, of course. I'm trying! Yeah. I suck at this thing! <laughs> okay. What? No, you don't. 40 you're seconds right, you're left. almost there. You need to find another Can she cactus. do it? Can she do it? Can no. she do it? Oh, yeah, yeah. there we go. Daruk has appeared. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look. You there. Good. Let's rumble. <laughs> <laughs> He's very heavy moving character too. Oh my god! Yeah. So New objective. He moves surprisingly quickly for someone of his size, though I have to say. Yeah. Sorry, little guy, but I'm itching to fight. You can do it, Chico. I believe in you. Show Keep off the wall jump. He's like two times oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! That looks like a little bit of rough play for training. They take their training very seriously. There's corner. Nice what corner. are the odds? Ah, nice. Yeah, wow. Well, Man, you made very you quick work of the Good job. Cool. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, let's cut away from oh. this for a second. We have one other thing we'd like to show you. Uh, Chico's got to set it up, though. Go ahead. I, I, I love... Daruk. He's so great. He's <laughs> such a well, and it's really fun character. Yeah, and it's really it's cool to see all the various characters, you know, that we know and love from Breath of the Wild, but seeing them in this different setting and mm -hmm. seeing all of their special moves and how those differ. I do I do really like seeing that and I'm excited for what we're about to show you as well, I you really the do viewers. Want to see that. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's it's great. It's sorry, I was going it's for an amazing that didn't land. thing that they've done with this game to uh, bring us into this era, you know, pre calamity, and show us all these characters and show us the intricacies of how they interact and how they uh, perform in battle. Um, it's stuff that that I think personally, as a fan of Breath of the Wild, I wished for <clears throat> so hard was the the <laughs> chance mm -hmm. to be able to, to sorry see these I guys keep on looking party, at how much so is left it's, it's because a lot of I have kind of just little battery yeah. left and and not to <clears throat> not to bring the soup ladle up too much but I do want to say <laughs> yeah. I love that they included that they included the soup ladle you know that they're they're bringing it back and we see those same touches from Breath of the Wild in this game mm -hmm. and Chico mentioned that the weapons aren't breakable so you really could you know, equip that soup ladle. If you wanted a serious challenge, you could fight with the soup ladle. So then you could upgrade you could, it. You know, use yes. weapons from your own adventure. Soup ladle stronger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I love it. I love so, that when you use the soup ladle, you got the pot lid as a shield too. We All haven't right, seen so her in English yet. Impa now. Ah. Yeah. Ah. So what I want to show <laughs> is in the distance. But I need to take care of these guys first because these guys just in nice. my way. That's so cool. <laughs> okay. ah! So obviously this is a new um, depiction of Impa. Um, She's never been this young here. before. But Chico is about to show us just what Impa ah, is capable of oh, in I the game. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. I, I love Impa so know. much. I think she is so much fun to play. Smash, She's please. so quick, and she has these different uh, jutsu yeah. attacks that she uses, like the summoning of the frog. <laughs> and then oh, I, oh, I, oh, I saw the high knocks. Let's go. You did. Let's that go. was an impressive use of the electric rod, I have to say. <laughs> and moving we have fast there. <laughs> <coughs> I love it. So yeah, as I was saying, Impa's gameplay, being able to absorb those those symbols to create the clones yeah. and then strengthen the strong attack when she has all of her clones out is, uh, it's really oh, fun. It takes a lot of on. strategy and timing. <laughs> nice. Cool, cool. And you can see her, uh, her Sheikah rune usage does differ from the other characters we've looked at today, too. Half of the time limit remains. You can do it. Everyone making freaking Naruto. So references. we discussed no earlier the uh, usage you know, of stock ninja in stuff. order to create openings to counter. Uh, Why do you think enemies? Naruto used it? Um, and because it was already stock ninja stuff. That you do that when fighting yeah. these big uh, monsters too, because whoa, uh, a rolling if attack. You get the timing right on these. Oh, nice. just like that. You can just like that. Really dramatic, uh, opening suddenly yourself. turned. Um, and Stop it motioning. really is vital that you get these weak point smashes in because they do so much damage and it can really make it easy to, uh, or easier, I should say, to take these guys Only a out. little time remains, oh no. To take out the four Hyas that was just having a nap, minding his own business. <laughs> I don't know about that. Thing. <laughs> well, I mean, I would be grumpy too if I got woken up like that. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. <laughs> They seem to have enough nice of like a society a that they guy. wear clothing and have it some really armor is. and stuff. I though. love that flying squirrel move. <laughs> 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 the maniacal laughter. Yes. So it's like <laughs> I imagine someone has tried to reason with them at some nice. point, and they just went ahead and you know attacked everyone all anyway. Right, I think and at that point, today. it becomes self-defense. Let's stop uh, beating up on this poor Hinox and let him go back to his nap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just finished the Thanks, mission. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, this was Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which releases oh, so Friday, November We still 20th. don't know if uh, Pira and Robbie we sure Pura, did. <laughs> however the and, uh, name and have and a Robbie great day. are playable. Bye-bye. All right, so that was pretty interesting. Um, I kind of wish we had just gotten a little bit more. What's the deal with the little eggy guardian? Why haven't we seen um, the stuff from the Tokyo Game Show in English yet? Like, surely there would have been, like, 
some sort of subtitled version. Ugh. Hate having sensitive skin. Would not wish it. Uh, zero out of ten would not recommend. Anyway, um, it's interesting. I'm glad they finally showcased Impa. They finally confirmed that it was Impa, which we already knew from the Tokyo Game Show, but in English, they had not yet identified her. She was just this woman who was with everyone. So that was interesting. Uh, I liked that. Uh... <laughs> Certainly Space Hell Link one-handed took down three Lynels and an army of monsters in that one flashback. <laughs> Shirtless Link fighting with a giant hammer and aggressively eating apples is hilarious. Yeah. Sleepy. Okay. <clears throat> These games are known for large rosters. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see Pure or Ravi. Who else is going to put 300 hours into this game? I should say only 300. Running in 500, 300 pathetic, how about three to five years? <laughs> uh, I, I said only 300, but I should have said, I didn't figure you for a quitter. Now all we need to know is what is a wall jump? Oh, God, I told you. Soon we might actually see Link's father and sister. Yeah, that would be neat. I'm going to say there's a picture of Link's sister with a chicken. Just going to say chicken because I don't know how the hell to spell cuckoo. It's spelled really weird. And I think that would be a great way to introduce Linkle to the actual canon. <laughs> when she said we learned more about her Vosa's relationship with Zelda's mother, that really hyped me up for this game. He, well, yes. <laughs> Link's ability, aggressively eating apples. Invisibility frog. Everyone's biggest takeaway: we can beat up ravioli. <laughs> Apparently, chat was absolutely insufferable on the live version. Everyone was typing Juan. I don't. I don't understand. Nobody seems to be able to understand. Empha summoning a frog is one of the most adorable things I've seen. Weapons will not break. Thank God. <laughs> 
Really wasn't expecting Impa to be the Legend of Zelda Toad Sage. Heckin' dang man, and she's the future Okage. <laughs> okay, so that's a unique re reference. <laughs> Fear the wrath of photography. I gotta photograph you to death. <laughs> yeah. Comment sections can be really funny. <laughs> How long do I need to wait before we save Marin from being trapped forever as a seagull? You just play the first Zyra Warriors. You unlock her pretty easily. When you get uh, access to the Koholint Island Adventure Mode, you can unlock her right away. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, that was pretty enjoyable. So, uh... Until next time, I'm Blackjack Gaviani, and you're not.